Hey guys, yeah, I'm reacting to all 50 US states summarized geography now, so uh, let's get started. Hey Jugger peeps, so this is a little video that I kind of wanted to make for a while, but never really had time until now. So of course, the majority <laughs> of Geography Now subscribers are from, you know, my home country, the US. However, we do have a very, very noticeable and sizable community of subscribers outside of the US. And some of you have expressed, you know, a little curiosity as to how each of the 50 states, you know, kind of function or what they're like. Each state does kind of have their own unique individual qualities, and I'm going to try my best to explain each and every yeah, it's a bit like each state is a uh, its own country somewhat, so very different. Single one of them to you right now. Alabama, where both white people and black people are poor, but they party equally hard. Also, pretty damn good food, and Birmingham is the state capital. It's pretty interesting. Roll Tide. No, but seriously, Alabama is kind of like where the Confederacy started. So, uh, yeah, Civil War. Alaska, America's refrigerator. Seriously, this is like where we stockpile up all our resources that we won't tap into until things get really messed up. It's the also it's pretty surprisingly you know nice actually, uh, and there's some like nice more temperate regions a bit down south along the coast. You know, that's a bit more like Seattle or Vancouver. The temperature is a bit nicer in those, some of those areas. Uh, also in the summer, it's, uh, surprisingly, um, what's it call it? Lush. It's surprisingly lush in the summer for, like, agriculture. And there's also a lot of mosquitoes, apparently, in Alaska. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, Anchorage is a nice place. Uh, it's the capital of Alaska. Good food, I heard. And also, I think they have, um, a basic income in Alaska. Like, you get paid by the government every month, so. That's nice. Probably from the oil fund, I think, so. Largest and coldest state, you can find polar bears and the native Yupik people. Oh yeah, damn fascinating. Arizona, the Grand Canyon state. This is kind of... And their mythology, the Yupik people, or the Inuit people, I guess, in general. It's very fascinating mythology. It's a very cool culture. Like the King... De you know, and they look more like uh, East Asian. I guess if you know typically, because you know, East Asians and uh, Native Americans are like the same race, so it's pretty cool. Both Mongoloid, so. Desert state of the U.S. Oh, Arizona yeah. Arizona is also home to the largest Indian reservation, Navajo Nation. Arkansas. Basically, just read the book Where the Red Fern Grows. It basically just gives you the gist of what Arkansas is like. And the people here love dogs. They have like the highest dog ownership out of any state in the country. California, my home state. Ah, so let me just put it like this. If California somehow, for some reason, seceded from the U.S., it would still be like the world's seventh most powerful economic superpower. So obviously, California holds a high position of geopolitical influence in our country. Nonetheless, California is still heavily dependent on the U.S. government. We're the home. It is pretty damn rich, yeah. In Southern California, Northern California, are pretty different as well. Home of the entertainment capital of the world. Three of the largest tech companies in the world are in Silicon Valley. Crazy diversity and everything you need packed into one place, California. It is pretty damn diverse, yeah. I mean, it's very, <laughs> it's very uh, Mexican and Asian. Colorado, our healthiest state, which has the lowest levels of obesity. This is probably because people go outdoors and get, you know, fresh air and enjoy those mountains. Just uh, be careful if someone offers you a chocolate truffle or a brownie. They are really enjoying those new cannabis laws. Connecticut is like the gentler, cleaner suburbs that people move to when they are sick and tired of New York. Delaware, <laughs> the first state to become a state. And that's like literally all they got going for them. I think they have like a cardboard box factory. Florida. I think they have a lot of tax um, incentives, though. Like, there's a lot of businesses based there. Well, at least they say they're based there just for the tax initiatives, I think. Uh, America's swampy playground. Florida, Seriously. yeah. <laughs> Like, none of the houses here have basements, because if you just dig down... It's like, uh, the culture in the north is more, like, southern, and then in the south, it's more tropical. Uh, yeah, it's more, like, tropical. And Caribbean. It's more like tropical and Caribbean in the south. In the north, it's more like the southern culture. It's like Georgia or Alabama. Down a little bit, you'll hit water. Orlando was originally <laughs> built because not enough Americans could travel all the way to California to visit Disneyland, so they built Disney World. They made it bigger, and then like 8,745 other theme parks opened up. Georgia, the peach yeah. state. Home to Coca-Cola and the busiest airport in the U.S. Boiled peanuts and Little Miss Beauty pageants. Yeah, some... And Atlanta is a pretty popular city. Places do that in America. Hawaii. Probably like the capital of the South. Uh, at least the deep South. 
And then Texas, I mean, also me. Yeah, hey, the last state to become a. Oh yeah, Hawaii is has a very unique culture, language, people. I think it's Asian majority, so it's pretty interesting. State. Before we made Hawaii into a state, it was actually its own country. Like, it was a Polynesian country. They had their own monarchy and everything. Liliuokalani was the last queen. It's pretty cool. Otherwise, you know the rest. Hula surfing, pineapples, luau's, yada, yada, yada. Idaho. The only fact that most Americans know about Idaho is that they grow the most potatoes out of any other state. Yeah. I mean, apparently they have some cool secluded spots like hot springs and gorges. Otherwise, I feel like the people in Idaho are probably hiding a lot of dark secrets that we <laughs> what are you hiding, Idahoans? We don't know about. Illinois. Ah, the land of Lincoln. Yeah, and when you say Illinois, though, it's like, it makes it sound more rural than it really is. Because, I mean, Chicago is in Illinois. And that's it's, it's a pretty popular city. Even though Lincoln was born in Kentucky. Now, I actually grew up a large portion of my childhood in this state. And a lot of people know this place by another name, Chicago. Seriously, like, half the time, yeah. people don't even know what state Chicago is in. Mr. True, yeah. So that is true. Most A lot of people don't know. Historically, it was known as like the slaughterhouse of America, partially because all the cows from Texas were brought up here to be slaughtered. And Chicago uh, has thought of seceding, uh, as forming its own state. And also because... Like Chicago land, I think. Or just, just Chicago. Because and there was kind of like a little... Damn, a little huh? mafia past. Indiana is like Illinois' annoying little brother who took the town of Gary away from Chicago and then they get to claim that they have the birthplace of Michael Jackson. <laughs> no, but seriously, like the only interesting thing from here is like the Indy 500 car race. Otherwise, John Green is from here. Iowa. That's Iowa is like the state that was so flat and so dull that they had to find creative ways to entertain themselves. Oh, oh and Des Moines is a pretty cool place I've heard. Des Moines, Iowa, the capital. I think it's the capital. Is Des Moines the capital of... Iowa. Oh, uh, let's see. Des Moines, okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, and I'm pretty sure it's just like it's said more in a more like French way or something. It's like Des Moines, but I'm not hundred percent sure. I'm not a hundred percent sure, but I think it's said Des Moines, not Des Moines, not Des Moines or something. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty cool. Let's get back to the video. And they're known for being really good at wrestling. Kansas is the heart of the Midwest, famous for Dorothy from Wizard of Oz, and this is literally the flattest state in our entire country. Ah, Kentucky, you with your- A lot of tornadoes, I think. And is Kansas City in Kansas? I think it is, but I'm not 100% sure. Kansas City is in Missouri, of course. Never mind, not in Kansas. <laughs> uh, what is the capital of Kansas? And of course, Kansas is said differently than Arkansas. <laughs> uh, oh my. Uh, Kansas capital. Its capital is Topeka. Oh, Topeka. Interesting. Okay. That's cool. Yeah, it's very much in the center, too. Your baseball bats and bourbon and KFC and horse Oh, derby. Kentucky, yeah, Kentucky. It's also home to Fort Knox where we hide all our gold. Louisiana. <laughs> huh? What is the capital of Kentucky? Fra oh, Frankfort, Kentucky. Interesting. Um, Frankfort is principal capital. Oh, the Frankfurt, Kentucky Metropolitan Statistical Area. Interesting. The town of Frank Frankfurt likely received its name from an event that took place in the 1780s. Interesting. It kind of sounds like Frank Frankfurt in Germany, but I guess it's just a similar name. It's not taken from the name. It's not. It's not the same name. It's just. It's slightly similar. But that's pretty cool, though. Frankfurt, K Kentucky. Oh, now y'all coming down here, y'all. Okay. It's also home to Fort Knox, where we hide all our gold. Louisiana. Uh -huh. oh, now y'all coming down here, y'all gonna see that you gonna get... <laughs> it took me like four takes to get down the accent, Where huh? we hide all our gold. Louisiana. Oh, now y'all coming... It took me like four takes to get the accent down. <laughs> and I think uh, Bobby speaks French too, so... Yeah, just a different French accent. Down here, y'all gonna see... The oh, I guess not a French accent. I mean... Louisiana accent. That you gonna get the real couture cajon. Vous comprenez mon ami? Louisiana is one of the only few states left in the U.S. that has concentrated francophone communities that speak French, kind of. 
True, true, true. I mean, besides, um, like, Maine. You know? Uh, Maine, maybe Vermont. But, but probably mostly Maine in, uh, in the northeast of the U.S. Also has, uh, like, some French communities. Known for the bayou and a diet high in crawfish and crabs, reptiles... But language diversity is pretty cool. The U.S. does not have a national language. So, yeah. Why not? And other swamp creatures. This place is unlike anywhere else <laughs> in the U.S. Maine, the lobster state. This is also French. Uh, lo lots of French speakers here, too. This is where, like where all the tough Atlantic... And I think Portland is the capital of Maine. Uh... Capital is Augusta. Oh, but the largest city is Portland. Okay, okay. Sailors come and live and have houses on foggy cliffs with lighthouses. <laughs> Maryland. Awesome. Maryland is like home to the... Maryland has an amazing flag. Richest, most well-educated black people in our country. It's also home to Olympic gold medalist Michael Phelps. They also love crab. Crab cakes, baked crab, boiled crab. You cook it, they eat it. Massachusetts cool. is like the library of America, and it has our best university, indisputably in the world, Harvard. However, there's like three different types of people from Massachusetts. There's the uppity, the gritty, and the intellectual gritty. They all believe they are better <laughs> than the other two. Michigan! I mean, I think the intellectual is probably the best, just, you know, it helps. <laughs> Being intellectual, you know, being smart, it's a good thing. I am so sorry. You were doing so well in the early 20th century. Oh, Michigan, yeah. Unfortunately. You were like one of the richest states, but then you kind of filed the largest municipal bankruptcy case in U.S. history. Minnesota. I was actually born there. Minnesota is kind of like the Finland of America. Plus, there's also like an actual lot of Finnish people and other Nordic people that live there as well. Yeah, the true, land true. of 10,000 lakes. And if I... Minnesota. What's the capital of Minnesota? Uh, oh, St. Saint, Saint Paul is the capital of Minnesota, but the largest city is Minneapolis. So yeah, I've heard of Minneapolis before. Huh, that's cool though. I must say, they have some of the most attractive people in our country. It's just, oh, uh, they have kind of funny accents. Hey kids, let's go grab our bags and read the magazines. Yeah, I grew up <laughs> with that accent. Mississippi, this is like probably America. I mean, the accent sounds kind of cool, so. Too bad it doesn't keep it. He's more of like a California, you know, like a regular accent now, so. His truest, deepest, southern, southern, y'all put some butter on my grits, state. Speaking of butter, yes, they are the fattest state. Just, they are. They love their churches, pecans, or pecans. And tons of famous people like Oprah and Elvis were born here. Missouri, America's gateway. How do I say that word? Um. Hmm, pecans? I mean, I think I think it's pretty phonetic. Pe, p e pe, cons, c a n, s cons, pecans, pecans. Yeah, I say pecans. I don't really say pecans because some people like say. Some people imagine it's like a p u h sound instead of a p e. But yeah, I think I think I say it pretty accurately. Pecans. Uh yeah to the Midwest. Missouri is kind of like Kentucky's fraternal twin that also got mixed up in the Civil War and was kind of acting like a buffer zone. Today they are known for their Kansas City barbecue. Yeah, the largest part of Kansas City. Oh, Missouri. Yeah, yeah, Missouri. The, the Kansas City is in Missouri. Yeah. He's actually in Missouri, not in Kansas. Las Vegas for old people. What is the capital of Missouri? Is it Kansas City? Um, okay, the capital, the capital of Missouri is actually Jefferson City, okay, but the largest city is Kansas City, interesting. Where's Jefferson City? It's pretty much right in the middle, okay. And what is Kansas City? Oh, it's right on the edge, pretty much. Yeah, okay, makes sense, makes sense. And people who probably collect those tacky figurines and put them in their china <laughs> cabinets. Sorry, Missouri, just that's the image that conjures up in my head when I think of you. Montana, America's big, empty, mountainous, may as well just make the whole thing an Indian reservation state. Yeah, and why seriously, not? So you got the Blackfoot, the Flathead, the Crow, the Cheyenne. Nebraska, corn and steak. That's literally like their only attraction. Oh, and Warren Buffett, the second richest man in America, lives here. Nevada. 
honestly, honestly, they do be like just too many states sometimes <laughs> like that are just kind of pointless to have. Is like California's drunk girlfriend. Las Vegas alone is like 80% of what keeps the state alive. Oh, and we bury all of our nuclear waste somewhere in there too. Rock on Nevada. <laughs> New Hampshire is kind of like a small autumn wonderland with beautiful foliage and Damn, wooden beautiful. covered bridges. Home to Dartmouth, the smallest Ivy League university. New Jersey, pretty rich and very... Yeah, New Jersey is also an interesting state. Uh, kind of similar to New York, but more suburban. I guess the northern edges of New Jersey would have uh would be like a would be part of the New York metropolitan area, the New York City metropolitan area, and then some southern, some southern what's it call it, um, western parts of New Jersey would be like part of the Philadelphia metro area. Let's see. Because NJ map. Yeah, I'd imagine if you look at it, this part of uh, New Jersey would be part of the New York City metropolitan area. And then this part of New, Je New Jersey would be part of um, the Philadelphia metropolitan area. But yeah, okay. And I think they have like the best schools in the country as well. So it's pretty cool. Very angry. Like they don't even try to brush off the Stereo League University. New Jersey. Pretty rich and very angry. Like they don't even try. <laughs> oh yeah. I heard they have uh, rude people. <laughs> uh, but what's it call it? Uh, I mean rude people. Doesn't mean the bad people I guess. You know like New York City as well. Probably rude, rude people, they say so. Just because a place is rude people doesn't mean it's like bad. Um, what's it called though? Oh yeah, they have Princeton though. They have an Ivy League college, so that's pretty cool. And Albert Einstein uh, used to teach there, so. Try to brush off the stereotype. They just own it. They either go uh -huh. crazy on the dance floor or crazy on each other. New Mexico <laughs> is like Arizona's little brother that had to live in his shadow his whole life, but then Breaking Bad happened. But they do have a fascinating culture. And I think they have, like, the most, uh, like, they have their own, like, dialect of Spanish as well there, I think. So it's pretty cool. And now he came out with, like, six-pack abs and a sleek <laughs> new look. And uh, Roswell is supposedly where aliens landed. New York is kind of like where so much of American history got its roots. True, yeah. Most Caucasian Americans that have ties to immigrants from the 1800s can trace their ancestors back to Ellis Island where most Europeans came in. Home to our largest city by population, New York. Proud people with big attitudes and they never sleep. Seriously, like this whole place never stops moving. North True, Carolina, yeah. the first in flight. I mean, also New York has like a lot of, lot of good food. Uh, not a bad public transportation system. Could be better, of course. And uh, yeah, you know. I think Chicago, New York, and like San Francisco are like the best public transportation systems. Maybe, maybe Washington D.C. as well. But yeah, New York has good food. I mean, maybe kind of rude people, but you know, it's just they want to get around. They have places to go, of course, and uh, yeah, they don't like small chat. They don't like the small talk. Really, they just want to get the uh, direct. But yeah, that's that's a good thing as well. You know, just it's each region of the US is so different. Yeah. Flight state in which the Wright brothers flew the first. Oh, yeah, North Carolina. Yeah. Powered aircraft in 1903. Otherwise, Coca Cola's arch nemesis, Pepsi, was born here. North Dakota. Oh, yeah, let's go. Dakota, congratulations. Now everybody's paying attention to you because of that whole Standing Rock Reservation, Dakota Access pipeline controversy drama thing. In addition to a high concentration of Native Americans, there's also a lot of Norwegians that live here, many of which still speak Norwegian at home. Ohio is like the most plain Jane typical American experience state with corn dogs and fireflies in the summer with fireworks and corn. Carnivals. They also have the largest Amish population out of any other state. Then election time huh. comes up and everything becomes a bloodbath. Oklahoma, America's tornado state. Now, pretty much all of the Midwest gets tornadoes, however. Oh, yeah, this region. Oklahoma is very Native American as well. And also just above uh, Oklahoma, I think, is Colorado, right? And uh, oh, I guess Colorado is nearby Oklahoma. Anyway, Colorado, I forgot to mention. They have, like, a lot of um, Native American sites, I think. Like uh, Mesa Verde. It's, like, this uh, Native American 
palace uh, like built into the side of a cliff in the 13th century. I think it's like 800 years old. So when people say America doesn't have like old buildings or old structures, yeah, yeah, they do. 800 year old structure built in the 13th century in Colorado. So damn fascinating. Oklahoma, dang. Wait, actually, I want to check that out. Yeah, this is uh, Mesa Verde. All the Pueblo and uh, cliff dwellings. The cliff dwellings. So, pretty damn fascinating. Yeah. Anyway, yep. Let's get back to the video. Oklahoma. A lot of hard. tornadoes. Oregon. It started out as like the frontier logging and lumber state with... What's the capital of Oklahoma, actually? Um, official languages are English, Choctaw, and Cherokee, though. That's pretty damn cool. And the largest metro is Great Oklahoma City. Capital is Oklahoma City. Okay, that's cool. And I think people call people from Oklahoma Okies. <laughs> Burly men with axes and chainsaws. But then one day, the hippies realized they couldn't afford living in San Francisco anymore, so they all just kind of moved up north. Now Oregon uh -huh. is like this weird lumberjack. And I heard Portland, Oregon has good food. And it's named after Portland, Maine. But nowadays, Portland, Oregon is more populated and more famous. <laughs> Vegan hipster hybrid freak show with good donuts. Pennsylvania, America's history state. We should have had our capital over here. And technically, at one point, our Congress did actually meet. In well, I mean, I think the capital of the U.S. should actually just be more in the middle. <laughs> like, it's too it's too much on the East Coast. I mean, because they were originally just trying to, trying to uh, you know compromise between uh, north and south but nowadays they need to compromise north and south and east and west as well <laughs> they need a capital more to um more to the west let's just get a map of the u.s yeah because the capital is like over here right in this area but really it should be more over here um, uh, just in the middle, at least. At least, like, somewhere in the middle. I mean, I think maybe... I would also, you know, bring some industry to the region, probably. So that might help. If they built the capital, uh, a new capital, some over here, in the middle of the U.S. Maybe in Colorado, Kansas or something, who knows. Anyway, let's get back to the video. In Philadelphia. If you want a real American history story, come here. Rhode Island. Our yeah. Damn fascinating. Smallest state. And it's not even an island. It's not even a peninsula. The heck, Rhode Island? Anyway, they were one of the original 13 colonies, and other than that, they really don't have much else going for them. I mean, they're home to the fictional city of Quahog in the show Family Guy, but that's about it. South Carolina. These people love their tobacco, fudge, walnuts, and it's home to the largest portion of the Gullah community. They speak their own Creole mixed with African influences, and they hold their own communal festivals and celebrations. Oh, yeah. South I remember this from another video. It's awesome. Dakota. The other Dakota. Home to Mount Rushmore, America's most iconic presidential landmark. They're also working on the largest sculpture in the world, the Crazy Horse Monument. Otherwise, like Damn. North Dakota, they also have a sizable Native American community, mostly part of the Sioux Nation. Tennessee is kind of like the girl down the block that Texas has a little crush on. The capital of the Appalachians, mountain folk, bluegrass. Country music artists all come here in hopes of making record deals. Now everybody knows about Texas. Oh yeah, Nashville, Tennessee, and Memphis, Tennessee. Both famous places. Cool. Texas was at one point even its own country, and in Texas, everything is bigger. Football or American football is basically a religion. Barbecue and barbecue sauce are each separate food groups. Cattle ranches are everywhere. And contrary to popular belief, most Texans don't really mind Mexicans or Mexican culture as so many already live in their state that they've actually kind of developed this new Tex-Mex culture that fuses both of them. Utah, cool. basically everybody kind of knows this place as being like America's Mormon state. Salt Lake City oh, yeah. is like the headquarters of the Mormon church and over half of the entire 
entire state's population is registered with them. Otherwise, they have great skiing. The Sundance Festival comes here all the time, and they have great eroded rock formations, like my favorite site in all of America, Monument Valley. Vermont is kind of like New Hampshire's smaller twin brother that makes a lot more maple syrup. Otherwise, the only other thing that they got going for them is Ben and Jerry's. Like, seriously, if that company goes bankrupt, they will become the next Michigan. Uh -huh. Virginia is kind of like where everything started with the US. Essentially, the British came in, they tried to start a little small town, and then the whole Pocahontas thing happened, and then Disney made everything incredibly accurate. It holds so much history. So Virginia and Pennsylvania, those are like the two history states. True, true, true. But also Native American history is fascinating, so there's also that to consider. Washington, the evergreen state. Basically, imagine the exact same scenario with Oregon, except replace hippies with computer nerds. Bam! Microsoft, Amazon, Expedia, Starbucks, Boeing, they're all born. Oh, and a More volcano erupted too. in the 80s, and it's like really easy to catch flounder in their waters. West Virginia is like the southernmost like state that was actually part of the Union during the Civil War. It was like, nope, Virginia, I'm leaving you. They are also the oldest state. The average age is about 40, and we get a lot Damn. of coal from here. Wisconsin. In America's dairy land. Oh, yeah, yeah. Lots of good cheese there. Now, my personal belief is that everybody needs to have at least one friend from Wisconsin. I personally do. My friend Bill, he's actually the one who made the theme song for Geography Now. Wisconsin people are like the easiest to get along with. They have the best stories. They're also like home to the country's most attractive, chubby people. They don't care. They <laughs> own it and they flaunt it. Wyoming, home to our country's most noticeable national park, Yellowstone. Beautiful place, waterfalls, shooting geysers, hot springs. They have tons of buffalo Damn. and it's kind of like the training grounds for actual cowboys. And here's a little bonus, Washington DC, our capital. Although it has a population higher than two states, it's not a state, it's a federal district. The president lives here, sometimes, Congress assembles, mostly, all the museums <laughs> in the Smithsonian are free, but the hot dogs are crazy expensive. There's statues, monuments, and everywhere you are being watched. And I heard they have good public transportation. Security cameras are everywhere, so have fun. Just not too much fun. Oh yeah, and we also uh -huh. have those territories like Puerto Rico, Guam, Marianas, and Virgin Islands, but we'll talk about those later. All right, now very quickly before we end this video, just please stay, please, just listen. As you guys know, I've mentioned this. Okay, I very much enjoyed the video. Um, of course, the link will be down in the, in the description box below. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video and my reaction, please like it and subscribe to the channel. Bye-bye.